You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. Very excited to have another vintage collection action figure review for you today. It is VC319 Ezra Bridger. Hero of Lothal, based on his appearance as the uh, hologram in Ahsoka. Been looking forward to this figure. The Black Series one was definitely one of my favourites from last year. So, yeah, the uh, the three and three quarter version is looking pretty damn good. We have a picture of the hologram there. I'll be honest, I think I would have preferred to see, you know, a, a Rebels card back for this character, but I know they sort of want to stick with the branding for Ahsoka, so that's why they went that way. And VC319. Figure looks pretty good in the bubble. Got this through my work, Kessel Run here in Collectibles. Got to be nice and early. Got to get in on those pre-orders. So let's, uh, let's crack him open and have a look. All right, folks, here is Ezra Bridger out of the packaging. Really nice looking figure. I love the bright sort of orange, the yellow, and contrast with the sort of the brown of the trousers. I think it's, it's just one of those, it's something that Rebels did really well. Use the color palette to a great effect. The characters really popped. Um, yeah, it was fantastic. I hope I hope we get a season one version version of Ezra coming into the TVC at some point. I think that would be fantastic. We're going to start with the accessories. It does come with his little blaster pistol, which nicely is actually accurate to the figure. The Black Series one, um, unfortunately, just reused a similar style blaster. They didn't actually do the accurate one. So that's nice. And that should slot very nicely into his holster there. So I'm just going to pop that in there, see how that goes. Very good. Looks like it might go down a little bit further. Either way, that's sitting in there nice and snug. That's good. We also have his unlit hilt. Looks good, got the little peg on it. Now where's the peg hole? Right there on the side. And that slots in there nicely, that looks good. It's not gonna pop out or anything, which is nice. And then we get the lit, lit blade. Which again, very nice. Again, accurate to Star Wars Rebels and the Black Series one simply reused the same one they gave Sabine um, which for the most part is the same saber Sabine had sort of touched it up a little bit and done some work unfortunately there's this little bit of silver paint sort of missing on the end of the base of the blade there I'm noticing that a little bit with some of the recent lightsabers the paint's just not adhering or it's just not and not enough passes to get it to stick. It's just not super, super great, but that's all right. Well, let's get onto the figure. Let's take a look at Mr. Young, Mr. Bridger here. So yeah, the blue eyes, so slick back, black hair. I like the two sort of scars on the cheek there. That looks good. Nice, beautiful sculpt. Really nice sculpt. Really nice paint applications on the um, on the face too. If you had a look at this, if you had a seen showing me this ten years ago, I would not have believed it was real. Yeah, the rest of the paint applications are pretty damn nice. Nice and clean. 
Yeah, the sort of the buckles and the little studs there on the belt look good. So they tend not to do the extra details on the backs of the figures anymore, which isn't a big deal, I suppose. You're not seeing them for the most part. Little yellow marks on the on the knees there and on the top of the boots. Looks pretty good. Nice little bit of detailing there on the uh, on the sort of comms part there. Sort of looking at the articulation there on the wrist, it looks like there may be a little bit of extra plastic in there. You can just sort of see it's sort of separated a little bit. You just need a little bit of hot water just to uh, get that to sort of fit in a little bit better, perhaps. There's one little bit of dust here that's just sticking <laughs> like crap to a blanket. But yeah, he's looking pretty nice. Again, the, the accessories hold in there well. Let's see how the lightsaber goes in the hand. Yeah, that's nice. That looks good. Oh, well, let's take a look at his articulation. He's got the uh, double barbell in the top of the head there, or top of the neck in the head. He's got ball hinges in the shoulders there, ball hinges in the elbows, getting a nice, nice range of articulation there. Looks good. Ball hinges in the wrists. This one obviously going in and out. This trigger trigger hand going up and down. Of course, there is a swivel in there as well. Those wrist, that wrist joint there is particularly tight. So, yeah, a little bit of warm, a little bit of hot water just to loosen that up would be good. Uh, there is a torso joint in there. It's usually a ball and socket. Ball and sockets in the hips. Swivel at the top of the thighs there. And you have a ball hinge in the knee. Fair enough range of movement. Which is good. Ball hinge in the ankles. And then the rocker in the foot. So you can get those little wider stances and have them nice and flat. So let's check it out on the uh, Kess Run stands here. Available at kessrunhair.com. Looks like it will fit reasonably well there. Again, they've sort of done the stands in the uh, in the heel of the foot where it doesn't really have the depth required, but it looks like it's done all right. It looks like it's sitting on there okay, which is absolutely something we, we sort of thought about and aimed for, these 3D printed stands. That looks good. So yeah, very nice. That's a good looking figure. Just, uh, I'm still torn where I'm going to display him. I think he's going to go with my uh, was Zeb. With my Rebels. Anyways, even though he's uh, technically an Ahsoka series character. He's going to go on the shelf with the Rebels, I think. Love to hear your thoughts. Please send it in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here as well. And uh, yeah, we'll see you for some more reviews very soon. Till then, may the Force be with you always.